Carl, it's been a pleasure being with you today at Mazak HQ in Worcester and looking in depth at the installation of this fantastic bespoke uh, zero point trunnion. Can you tell our audience what it's entailed and how the project originated? Yeah, uh, the trunnion inquiry came from uh, a top top rated UK aerospace manufacturer uh, and they uh, they have a need to export some work holding out to one of their sister companies in India uh, as with most inquiries we get an inquiry where we're offered to supply a solution uh, in this instance it was an 11 pot zero point solution uh, and in this case we decided to use uh, AMF zero point pots uh, and it was a design and manufacture us working alongside Mazak, not for Mazak this time, as, as we quite often do. So both ourselves and Mazak, and we're quite used to doing it. We, we, we used to working together as a team to provide a solution for the customer, of which the customer was happy with. And we go on to, to manufacture the end product, which is uh, here on the machine. Now, Carl, what are the main challenges when making a fixture such as this? As you can see, the, the fixture is it's three and a half metres long. Uh, and the main challenge for a structure of that length is to make sure it's robust and it's, it's sturdy. Or it's not going to uh, fall away and lag in the middle under, under, under load of the parts that gonna, are going to go onto the fixture or during cutting. Uh, at the end of the day, the end user is going to want to be able to cut his, his components as hard as he likes and we need to know the fixture is robust enough to allow him to do that. This machine certainly got a lot of capabilities with the synchronised heads, the, the tilting head um, and now your fixture with the zero point location pots it, it, that are built into it. How does this benefit your clients? Well, straight away the client gets the benefit of quick change. He gets repeatable quick change. He should be able to put a part on and off this in a matter of minutes and everything he puts on will always be repeatable within microns. It's, it, it's a no-brainer. I would imagine that the same parts or similar parts would have been made years ago. How has the design of these fixtures changed over the years? I think as a fixture supplier, we have to look more, when we can, at single-op single op manufacturing. So this, for instance, okay, it, it can act in one axis as a vertical machining centre. It's got the tilting head, as you said, but now with the trunnion unit on, it can, you can hit two sides as well, which is a massive benefit. And in regards to, to repeatability as well, Carl, and flexibility, would you say that it's possible to do multiple components on this machine with the configuration that you've designed? Absolutely. Uh, with, with an x-axis of approximately three meters and with the configuration of the zero point pots he could put two fixtures on maybe three fixtures on to hit all at the same time and this particular trunnion is a little bit special it's modular it's also got a vacuum system built in can you tell us about this particular solution within a solution if you like the customer the, there was there was a, a wood like at the beginning of the project could we make it modular so we could add vacuum to it? And we said, yes, of course. And, we, and as part of this job at the moment, although it's not being utilized, there are uh, galleries and holes and clearances and through holes so that vacuum can be added at a later date by the customer as and when he chooses to. Now, for, for people watching this particular video that are looking at this, as a potential solution for them but may only have a three axis machine, a horizontal machine or a fifth axis machine. Are solutions like this still possible from Brown and Holmes? Absolutely and uh, if possible we would we would use our own Peisler units, our, our, our rotary, NC rotary units and tail stocks and we could build zero point uh, trunnion fixtures or any bespoke trunnion fixtures to fit on that sort of equipment. And how should people get in touch? They would go to our website, which is www.brownandhomes.co.uk, or call us at our Tamworth facility.